logbook.com here with another sort of cult classic arcade sleeper hit from the heyday of Pac-Man, and I'm sure you'll be able to see the influence once you see the game. It is, of course, Williams Electronics Make Tracks. However, this game did not start life as Make Tracks. It started life in Japan, created by a company called Corral Electric, which you'll notice in the high score table when the game is booted up fresh and you know there are no player high scores the preset high scores are all KRL short for Corral Electric the game was originally called Crush Roller because in the game you are playing the part of a paint roller trying to uh, squish some fish who are making a mess of your handiwork as well as cats, mice, birds, anything else that would uh, create a problem. So let's play a game of make tracks here. Now, very much like Pac Man, you are trying to claim space in a maze. You know, in Pac Man, this is accomplished by eating dots, clearing the maze. In this game, you claim space in the maze by literally painting it since you are a little paintbrush. Oh, they got me. As you see, the little the cat just got loose. And anything that leaves... Oh, the cat is still loose. Anything that leaves little paw prints, droppings, or what have you, uh, you, have to, you have to clear those out of your paintwork. You have to repaint that area. As you see, the cat reappeared. You can turn the tables on the fish by rolling the uh, paint rollers. There's one each uh, horizontal and vertical in the maze. Yay, I now hold the high score. Well, I would hope so. Let's give it another shot. If you're hearing more noise than usual, it's because I am actually playing with arcade-style controls now instead of uh, instead of keyboard controls where, where possible, where it's practical. It's a good idea early on to paint the area right in front of the uh, fish tank that the fish come out of, the two uh, sort of gridded areas there, because uh, as you can imagine, that's a pretty dangerous part of the maze. Let's see if I can play a slightly better game here. Running the paint roller over the fish temporarily immobilizes them, they will return to their fish tanks and emerge to take up their fishy fight once again. And there's that pesky cat. Oh. <clears throat> Obviously, the longer the cat is loose, the more damage it does to your paintwork the more you have to go and retrace your steps and redo some of your paintwork. Game over. Obviously, I, I think it's easy to detect the, the Pac-Man influence here because you're trying to claim space in a maze and you can temporarily turn the tables on your enemies but only temporarily I'm 
the the cats, the birds, and so on, they add kind of a uh, a nice little extra handicap, if you will. Now follow me, my friends. Just keep following. Fortunately, there's no timer. The reason I'm doing this is to gain some distance from my fishy frenemies here because if you try to grab the paint roller and roll over them while they are following too close um, it's not gonna work <laughs> it's a cute little game it's you know does it wear its pac-man influence on its sleeve oh yeah I I think it does that without a doubt and it you see I tried to turn around without enough distance behind me and there was the fish darn you fish the cat has returned to his napping spot there ready to cause fresh havoc now I have never seen the game take the paint rollers away from you now they get repositioned from level to level as the maze changes okay where am I missing a spot oh that tiny little corner that yellow fish has my number on this. That tiny little corner was what was preventing me from clearing the board. A little bit harder to see now that it's switched to pink as the paint color. Go ahead and get the area in front of the fish tanks painted and get that out of the way because that's a as I mentioned, that is a very hazardous part of the maze. Let's put our fishy friends out of commission for a little bit. I have a feeling the mouse is about to make an appearance. The mouse leaves tracks in your paintwork, very much like the cat does. Hello, mouse. Oh, well, I did catch him. I got him right where he wanted me. It's a tricky little game, but uh, really a nice one. There were there were a lot of games that tried to ride the coattails of Pac-Man at the time when Pac-Man fever was extremely virulent and running unchecked through the general population, with no cure in sight. Although some of the uh, some of the coattail riders in question. Were really obvious about it you know you had the the Popeye Pac-Man game that was one that uh, that was a machine that I played at Fun City Arcade in Central Mall in Fort Smith Arkansas back in the early 80s which was a uh, and basically it was a a knockoff of Pac-Man that replaced Pac-Man bizarrely with a, a little Popeye head maybe I should play that for you sometime Maybe I should just uh, do a show that is some of the uh, some of the Pac-Man ripoffs and ROM swaps that were such a thorn in the side of Midway and Namco in the early '80s. This, however, could at least 
lay some claim to being a new and different game. And so I give it full points for that one. And it's it's a fun and very frustrating one. So there you have Make Tracks, also known as Corral Electric's Crush Roller. Williams brought it to the U.S. as Make Tracks, and for that I thank them because it's actually quite a bit of fun.